Hey guys, welcome back to Kinfolk Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video about how everything's going on at the farm, how things are blooming. We're getting a lot of blooms. Check this plum tree out. This plum tree is doing great. Uh, we have a bunch of them right over here. Next to our fence, they're starting to put on leaves. All our little plum blooms are taking off. You can see some of these are doing really well. These have already bloomed, and now they're putting on leaves like that one. They're really doing good, all those down through there. This one was like the last one to bloom. Uh, I can't remember what variety is, variety it was. But uh, it's getting a lot of full sun, uh, just looking great. Our azaleas are just starting to put on their little blooms. We've been getting a flower here and there. Uh, they're all over the farm. They're just pretty up the farm a little bit. I'd like to have a lot more, check this out. They're just about to open up, it won't be long. But I thought I would just take you guys around today and show you. We're down here in uh, Midwest Georgia in Meriwether County, close to Alabama. Uh, we're in zone 7B. And I want to say it's March 5th, March 5th, 4th, 5th, something like that. Uh, but I've been having a lot of comments. Not a lot. I've had a few comments from some people that are just starting to grow their muscadines. And they keep asking... Uh, are they're, they're worried their muscadines are dead and didn't make they might not have made it through the winter uh, after pruning and stuff like that they're just not doing anything and i just wanted to reassure you guys that are growing muscadines your muscadines are probably not dead they just take a little longer to bust open <laughs> check out the blueberries the blueberry bushes they're just busting they're busting they're looking great now we have we have a really good blueberry crop every year uh, <laughs> but we're always late to pick them unless i'm cutting grass and i remember them uh, the birds really beat us back so i'm gonna try to do, do some preventive uh bird maintenance i'm gonna <laughs> i don't know if i want to put some little rubber snakes in the trees or uh put some bird netting or something like that over this year but this year i'd like to get a nice crop of blueberries i'd like to get a lot more blueberries out here but our fruit salad trees, they've already bloomed. Uh, they were really pretty. Still have some peaches left on a couple of them. Uh, they're doing good. Our fruit salad trees, they're a crawl, uh, they've just been uh, grafted with apricots, plums, peaches. They got a bunch of different, uh, uh, different limbs on there that are producing different fruits. Really a cool tree. You don't ever get a lot of fruit off of them, but they do pretty good. All right, we'll keep walking towards the pigs. I wanted to show you guys the blackberries and, and show you what they're doing. They're looking really good. They're putting on leaves. Every one of them starting to leaf. They're just coming to life, really looking good. These are old leaves from last year, so don't panic. This is all your new growth. They're looking good. They're just starting to take off. Really, really pleased with that. But they're all doing great. All the blackberries, did I say blueberries? All the blackberries, <laughs> I save that all the time. All the blackberries are really, really doing good. Super excited about our blackberries this year. We are gonna have a ton of blackberries, hopefully. This is the first year we've grown them. We grew them up through last year. They just, they took off. And uh, hopefully this year we get a ton of blackberries. I wanted to show you guys our pear trees that are right here at the pig pen. These uh, pears are taking off. This is gonna be probably the best crop of pears we've ever had on these trees. They put out a ton of pears every year. These three trees right here just really put on a lot of pears. I like that because <laughs> really we don't eat a lot of pears, but every time I walk out here to feed the pigs, whatever's on the ground, I flip over to the pigs. But, and then whatever's hanging over the pen falls into the pigs. So I really like that. It's kind of cool. That was my plan when I planted those. I tried to plant another one there <laughs> twice. For some reason, I just couldn't keep it growing. Put one tree there, it died. Later on, put another tree, it died. So I'm done trying right there. I don't know if it's uh, everything washing down in this corner, just burn it up. I don't know, who knows. Well, the pigs really look pretty under the pear trees, don't they? Al, what do you think, buddy? This isn't a pig video, but you gotta come down here and show your pretty self, don't you? <laughs> All right. Well, what I was wanting, the, the, the meat of this video is basically, it is the muscadines. 
Um, everybody's pruned, hopefully. You guys that watch my channel have pruned your muscadines. And I've had a few comments asking or saying they're worried about what their muscadines are doing. They haven't broke bud. Uh, it's been really warm here in Georgia uh, and they're just really concerned about what their muscadines are doing. These are probably, they are, they're not probably, they're the last thing to do anything on our farm. And it drives me crazy just keeping an eye on them, waiting for that first leaf. Once I see that first leaf, I know it's on. It's time to start growing. <laughs> but they haven't done anything. Check out mine. You can see they have done nothing. And they look just as dead as they can be compared to everything else around here. But they're not. One of the ways you can tell if your plant's okay is you can give a little scratch on the bark and you'll see it, it feels different. It, it, you'll see that it's green on the inside. See, I don't have any thumbnail. But you can see right there, it's got a little green. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But there'll be a little green inside there. They're not dead. And if you prune them correctly, you'll see the little buds on there. And uh, you'll see they're waiting to bust open. They're just, they're, they're, they're wanting to bust open as bad as you're wanting to bust them open. One of the things I like about them not producing or not waking up early is you really don't have to worry about a late frost. I've never had to worry about that. I'm not, maybe I missed a couple of vines. But you really don't have to worry about a late frost. These things, by the time all, for, here, for us guys here in Georgia, I should say, in March, it seems like everybody's getting spring fever. I just went and bought a bunch of corn seeds and radish seeds. I'm, I'm getting my garden going already. But it starts getting warm. Everybody gets spring fever, and it happens every single year. About mid-March, we'll get that one weekend or one couple of days where it just drops. The temperature will drop. We'll get that last cold spell that everybody's been waiting for. And it knocks a lot of people's stuff out. A lot of strawberries. It just knocks out a lot of people's fruit. Peaches. Uh, it happens a lot here in Georgia. But with the muscadines, you don't have to worry about that. These things are tough. For you guys, guys that are growing muscadines, these things are super tough. Like I say, you really don't have to worry about frost whatsoever down here in the south because they just put on so late. But I will definitely keep you guys posted when I see the very first leaf, I'll make a video sort of remind you guys that, hey, go check your plants. Go check your plants. They're, uh, they're starting to get turned on. Now these guys down south of us, maybe down in Florida, stuff like that, people growing grapes down south of us, it drives me crazy. I'm on this muscadine growers group in Facebook. You guys that are growing muscadines should probably uh, <laughs> go join that muscadine growers group. And uh, there's a lot of helpful tips on there, but uh, people down south of us, they'll start putting on way before I do, and it drives me crazy. But our day's coming. <laughs> Just be patient. These things are not going to let you down. They're not going to let you down. You may have one that dies on you and you have to replace. We, have to, we went through that. This is our third year. These guys right here are five-year-old plants, but the, all the ones way over there, uh, they're three years old, and uh, we had to replace a few this year so you'll have to replace some sometimes sometimes there may be a disease get them or something like that but frost you don't have to worry about well just a quick video it's nice to get out here and walk in the vineyard uh it's really really been warm i'm gonna have to get out here and cut grass it's getting time to cut grass remember guys uh, a lot of people want to do organic that's great i don't grow organic you guys that are new to my channel i don't grow organic I will spray for weeds underneath my plants uh, for the fact um, <laughs> the weeds are huge competition for your muscadines. You want to keep your weeds beat back. A lot of people may want to try mulch. Now, I've never tried mulch, but I talked to folks that have, and they say that uh, muscadines are a real shallow root plant. They grow right, the roots are right along the top of the they're just below the surface there because I pulled them up before and they, they're just right below the surface. And they say if you put down mulch, your roots can tend to try to grow up through the mulch. If you have a frost, it could kill your plants. So we don't use mulch. Uh, and if I had to mulch all this, 
I wouldn't be able to get enough mulch. <laughs> That'd be so much multi mulch, I wouldn't be able to handle it all. But yes, I do spray and I fertilize really, really heavily. Uh, I fertilize eight times a year. Uh, for you guys that haven't, that are new to my channel, because of the muscadine growing, I do have a playlist that shows how much I, uh, how I prune, how I spray, how I fertilize, how I do everything. I have videos for all this stuff. Uh, but I fertilize eight times a year. Get ready to get your fertilizer. It's going to be super expensive this year because everything else is gone up. Fertilizer's gone through the roof. But I do tr uh, triple 10, April, May, June, July, the first of all those months. The 15th of all those months, same months, I use a calcium nitrate. And uh, that's a little tougher to find, but if you can find it, get a bunch. Because <laughs> it's hard to find. I'm lucky enough, I have an actual fertilizer store that sells just fertilizer for all these farms out here not far from me so that really works out in my in my benefit <laughs> all right well there you go guys we're down here at the uh at our first row our little short row our three plant row and still just nothing there's, there's just no growth so don't let it bother you if you don't see anything i will also like i said again put out a video when we see our very first leaf i'm always super excited to see that and i'll let you guys know that hey it's on it's on <laughs> it's on i'm excited i'm ready to start growing the prune the hard part's over all the pruning's over guys for you guys that did prune that's the hard part once you get all this stuff cleaned up it's nothing to it now cut a little grass fertilize water nothing to it we're gonna grow some grapes this year all right thanks again i really appreciate you checking out my video just a reminder our muscadines are not dead hang in there be patient it's coming if you haven't subscribed to my channel click that button and subscribe click that little red subscribe button hit that bell leave a comment if you have any comment about your muscadines leave them in the comment section below i'll do my best to answer them uh if you need some muscadines if you want some muscadines there's still time <clears throat> to do some planting you can plant them all through the year in the spring and summer i just don't like to because it's real hot it's nice to get them in the ground while they're dormant that's where they're at now they're dormant put them in the ground and when spring comes they'll break they'll, they'll bust out and when these things start growing, they grow super fast. So get them in the ground now. You'll have tons, you'll have the whole spring and summer to get your plants established up and down both sides of the wire. Right now is the time to get them. Check out Ison's Nursery. That's where I buy all my plants from. Go on, check out their website, get a catalog, request a catalog or check out their online catalog. They have a ton of different muscadines for your needs, wines, jellies, or just eating. If you want to start a U pick, uh, they have all that stuff. Let them know Kenfolk Farm sent you guys out there. Love you guys to death again. <laughs> See y'all on the next video.